In the spring of 2012, photographer Kyle Hang and a friend, on a trip to the Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Refuge, observed something very strange, something they could not explain. They were on a trip up in the mountains. Their car was parked along the side of the road nearby. At around 10 p.m., they noticed that the coyote sounds they had been hearing seemed to get further and further away. They then watched as Rocky Mountain Elk, normally aggressive American bison, and feral hogs rushed past them across the road. Following this, Kyle and his friend noticed that it had become eerily silent, and they began to sense that something was amiss. They quickly grabbed their things and headed back to the car. Something rustled in the grass to the south of them. Grabbing their rifles, they climbed inside Hang's vehicle and got it started. They headed to the northeast at the base of Mount Scott, the highest point out there, and did a U-turn at the parking area. As they made the turn, Kyle's headlights illuminated something very, very strange. To Kyle, it looked like a human figure, although it wasn't human. It was as though it had the head of a buffalo or an elk, while standing upright with two legs and two arms that were human. Hang was terrified by the creature's eyes. The eyes were dark red. Hang began to wonder if it was a creature or a man in a mask playing a prank. As the car's headlights moved over the creature, he was able to get a good view of it. Whatever it was, it was far from normal. As a photographer, Kyle had seen all kinds of things in the wild, but this entity, he had no idea what it was. As the headlight illuminated it, the creature jerked away suddenly, as if it had been hit. Seeing the strange movement shocked Hang, and he quickly punched the accelerator and tore away from the area, not slowing down until he reached Medicine Park, only two and a half miles away. They pulled over at the creek at the entrance to the wildlife refuge and attempted to collect themselves. While sitting there, they overheard an ear-piercing scream that echoed through the night. Hang was sure it came from Mount Scott, where they had just been and where they had seen the creature. After that, they decided to leave the woods completely. While looking for similar encounters near Mount Scott, I found another bizarre story involving a Bigfoot creature. This report can be found on the BFRO website. In a fairly lengthy report, a man claims that in 1983, he spoke with an elderly Native American man, a member of the Klamath tribe, who told him of a weird experience he had in his youth while hunting with some family members near Mount Scott. He recalled how one night during this hunt, he, his brothers, and some uncles were sitting around the fire talking when a doe came charging through the camp. To the men, it was clearly running away from something. But what? The men looked around and noticed about three yards behind the doe, something large was running through the forest. It was carrying a club or a stick and was definitely trying to kill this deer. The sight of this thing so shocked the men that they fell over backwards off the logs they were sitting on. From their fallen position, they watched as a hairy, bipedal creature came charging after the deer right through the fire, swinging its club. It was so focused on the deer that it completely ignored the men. The area around Mount Scott is also home to all sorts of weird ghostly phenomenon. Over the years people have reported seeing shadow beings, hearing strange voices, and even seeing ghostly hippies. A man named Joseph claims he encountered a shadow entity while hiking. He claims that on his first trip to Mount Scott he had hiked around the area near the observation platform on the top. He stood on one of the boulders near the edge for a few minutes before eventually jumping back onto the ground. When he looked back to where he was standing, he claims he could see a faint shadow of a person standing on the same boulder. Given that it was a cloudless day, he knew it wasn't a shadow from the clouds. Whatever this apparition was, it slowly dissipated right in front of his eyes. A woman named Amy also claimed to have encountered weird things near Mount Scott, including a strange phantom hippie. She claims that she was taking pictures by some water one day when she turned around and noticed a strange man standing beside her. She immediately got the sense that he was from the 1960s. He was wearing bell-bottom pants and an old t-shirt with a peace sign on it. His hair was stringy and long and quite dirty. He was holding something in his hand and proceeded to ask her if she wanted to take a hit from it. Amy shook her head and said no. At that moment, he vanished into thin air. The weird thing, she noticed that the piece of cement he'd been standing on was wet, indicating that somebody had indeed been standing there. In the 1980s, a man named Richard claims that he and some friends and some co-workers decided to sneak up to the top of Mount Scott after the rangers had closed it. It was around 11.30 at night as they made their way up the road. 
Richard claims that at some point during the night, after they started to get rowdy, they began to hear strange voices. Richard himself claims he heard a voice speaking directly into his ear. This spooked the group, who immediately hightailed it out of there. Even the cafes in Mount Scott are said to be haunted. In February 2011, a woman named Beth and her family on a road trip to Mount Scott claims they stopped at a cafe to eat. When Beth went to the bathroom to do her business, she sat in one of the two stalls. She claims while sitting there, she observed a dark, dark shadow which came over her, and the air turned so cold that the hair on her arms stood on end under her long sleeves and down jacket. After rushing out of the bathroom, she reluctantly informed the staff who told her that they were aware of it and that strange things happened there all the time. It was not a good presence. Whatever it was in that bathroom did not want me in there. 